Hello, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. I'm John. We're gonna watch today a video from Gene Jetter. It's called Watch Me. <laughs> it's uh, it's called Otherworldly. It's one of his short films. We checked out one of his short films about a month ago, and uh, now he's giving us a round two oh, over boy. here. Redux. See, at our Patreon, one of our top reward tiers is whatever video you request, you must definitely do and put up on the YouTubes. So yeah, we do a lot over there at our Patreon. Patreon, Patreon, Patreon. You know what's funny? YouTubers don't talk about their Patreons enough. I think they should start doing it because it could be very beneficial to help keeping channels alive in such harsh times in this reality I don't think any channels I watch have ever Patreon I know them we had a something unprecedented happened to me the other day I went to Riverside Park and met a woman Very comfortable. <laughs> huh. You're the luckiest filmmaker in the world, Gene. <laughs> Sexual encounters with a woman. Yeah. Oh, wow, this is all the same day she, she met her? Yes, yeah, just a nozzle fact. Did you put this music together yourself? Who's, who's interviewing them? <laughs> Gene. <laughs> this is a real documentary. <laughs> Gene? Gene? You're a weird guy, Gene. You are an abstract cat. That's what I've come to the conclusion. You write like an author. Mm -hmm. The way you write. We, we, we had similar point of views on your, your last short film and in this one too, uh, with the choice of dialogue of the abstract. That's mm -hmm. a word that John just used. Abstract? Yeah, it's totally a word. It's a word with a definition and everything. Yeah, it's not actually that abstract of a word. <laughs> Isn't that It's pretty abstract. easy to understand. <laughs> What abstract means. <laughs> You're a strange fella. You like dealing with surrealness of people's relationships, yeah, I notice. Surrealness of interaction. Yeah, it's like the darker side of the electric company show. <laughs> <laughs> Shape. Oh, that is a really good look on you. <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying to sound out some more sinister words, you know? Struck. Sure. Structure. <laughs> Les. Be in. Lesbian. Lesbian. <laughs> 
your commentary oh. on straight couples, and then your commentary on females exploring their own inner homosexuality. I thought this was interesting with the coda at the end, just touching on the real life phenomenon that I guess this is based on. I guess that can of Or it's based this... on a book Gene wrote. Himself. Gene, is... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. These accounts are all from the story yeah. of the structure. In Gene's book, which is on sale now. <laughs> I'll say this. I know, I, I know in your last short film, we had issues with the acting, and the acting here is definitely better. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Yeah, I thought this was an improvement. This one I thought was more appealing than your last one. Like, with your kind of sci-fi sexy synth bass going on. <laughs> Sounds like a, like a Nine Inch Nails song off like the yeah. Ghosts album or something. Or like a Nine Inch Nails score piece almost. <laughs> Even though the abstract element is there, I, I did have my questions of, wait a minute. If these two met in this mysterious structure, cross paths through some like universe weird thingy, Who's interviewing these? Two? How did they know these two are the ones who met? They don't even know of each other or who they are. Yet they're being interviewed and they're talking to the camera about it. How is this happening exactly? You know, like things like that, I was a little bit confused by. Does this documentarian know that it was these two who met? Yet we're seeing a fictional reenactment with the same two women in there. Well, they both just happened to be actresses so when they got approached for the documentary. <laughs> it was you! What do you yeah. know? It's they're fucking like, weird. We're going to do some reenactments of your experience, so we want to cast people, and they're both like, no, 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 I have a headshot. Or is the interview a reenactment in and of itself? You know? Ooh, That's what I was trying hey. to... I was just trying to figure that out. I mean, it's funny that they keep talking about structure, yet here I was going, what is the structure of this otherworldly short film? Per se, abstract that <laughs> yeah. is the structure. I, I'm very curious about your circular tunnel graphic that keeps popping up. Well, he works within the Twilight Zone, John. Yeah, well, I was sitting here going like, okay, at first I was like, all right, they're talking about some kind of feminine romantic interlude. So I'm like, is this some kind of vagina metaphor? And then I was like, wait a minute, they're talking about some kind of alien otherworldly. No, seriously, like... He said vagina. Uh, or is this like the being vagina. beamed up sort of thing that you're... Yeah, yeah well... You know, you don't beam anything up into a vagina. You so beam in. <laughs> and out repeatedly. <laughs> uh, uh, that's why we have problems with the world today. <laughs> but in terms of mood and tone, it was definitely weird and interesting and not off-putting. Uh, <laughs> because sometimes weird and interesting is off-putting for me. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I mean, I like the aesthetics. I like that you shot this in black and white. I thought the photography was quite appealing. Yeah. And especially. I like the black girl and the Asian girl. I know this is uh, it's pretty. Well, uh, well, I got mean, I'm pretty biased. Recently, John and I had our DNA test done, and uh, we're putting together a video of that. It's a long one, so we got to chop that bad boy up. But I'll admit, a little spoiler: primarily Asian and uh, a little bit African. So. <laughs> yeah, look at you. You're killing the game right now. I feel represented in your video, Gene. You you, you are. You <laughs> can star in the sequel to Otherworldly yeah. with these two and be right at home. I feel like when people meet me, I act just like an Asian guy and just like a black guy. You know? Yeah. So yeah. It makes total sense Get why that. that's in my DNA. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And like a 8515 <laughs> breakdown. Yeah, man. We like women with big lips. Look at both of them. Yeah, they both got nice luscious lips don't they yes they do they are both attractive i feel like it's okay to talk about their attractiveness in this video when we're so focused on their sexuality in here yeah i mean it's very i, I don't do that with every video there's a woman on that we're adding to i'm just doing it in this specific yeah. one because yeah I mean, uh, no it definitely yeah. calls directed time i mean there's yeah. such nuzzling in this yeah. video there's such intimate little uh, moments that yeah you do find yourself titillated yeah, by cause, those cause sensations I, I like the world of they get transported it, it, like they're talking about a day and they're already like holding hands and like about to make out and like the hour they're with each other. Because time ceases to exist in the normal way when they're in the structure. Do you get it? Yeah. Should have called this the structure. The Blake Snyder beat sheet. <laughs> Why'd you call this otherworldly? You should have called this the structure. Well, Gene, dude, 
Keep it up, man. This has to be based on something else you've you're like developing or came up with or whatever. You know, there's there's got to be something more to this. This has to be like a sizzle reel for something much bigger. Yeah, you got to do this cinematic universe of the structure where like there are a bunch of different ones mm -hmm. eventually, and they're all in different cities, and everyone's making out inside. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what happens in this otherworldly dimension? Do this people is, just make out with each other? And this they just is an go at it. <laughs> alien matchmaking scheme. They're like, what happened? <laughs> if we put two people in a very intimate environment for a small amount of time, you know, who wouldn't necessarily be in there otherwise. What that's a that's an experiment right there. It's better than probing. How'd you direct these two? I'm very curious about that. Where's the behind the scenes? Where's the behind the scenes? Where's the making of? Are you documentary? gonna get me too soon? Oh. <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. I mean, Gene seems like he collabs a lot with uh, females, so I would hope he's a respectful oh, guy. that's where you're coming from. I was coming from the angle of, you know, he might not be able to pledge to our Patreon anymore. <laughs> yes, that. That would be the most unfortunate thing, is if you Look, weren't able to make... <laughs> human beings are very self-centered, John, and I believe Gene probably has some short film out there about that, and... I'm very self-centered, so, you know, I think about Gene's problems, it makes me go, well, how are his problems going to affect my problems? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way it works. Anyway, guys, you can check out Gene Jetter's YouTube channel. We're subscribed, so you should subscribe, too. Uh, just looking at his page, he's got some interesting thumbnails here. He's got this 24-second video called Samantha, and uh, we're just going to watch it right now because it's got a great thumbnail. Uh, do we need audio? Ah, fuck it, yeah. Let's, let's, let's put the audio on. <laughs> that was my personal favorite one you've done so far. Short, sweet, straight to the point. L L let me get straight to the point here. You really gotta make more of those. Story. Yeah, <laughs> very open to interpretation. <laughs> In all seriousness, Gene, you're quite a creative dude. We've talked quite a bit as well. And uh, keep at it, man. I know you got our little letter that we sent you, but keep at it because strange work like yours deserves to be seen more. We don't get enough weird out there. So thank you for being weird. You guys can subscribe to The Reject Nation, click that notification bell, and uh, check us out on Patreon. We got shit 